Welcome back to round two of the Topaz Denoise AI versus Lightroom Denoise AI. This time we've given it a really tough challenge, ISO 20,000. Let's see what they can do. So in the first video, we looked at one image that had medium noise in it. And so we kind of threw a softball to see if both systems could handle it equally. They both did a pretty good job. Topaz uh, edged them out a little bit. This time we're gonna take really noisy images and we're gonna see which one of these products is the best at handling it. So let's, let's dig in here. We've got this picture of this owl. If we zoom in here, the noise is just phenomenal at 200%. Look how bad that noise is. I mean, this is a 20,000, ISO 20,000 with a Canon 1DX Mark II. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us and we'll see which one can handle it the best. Over here to the right, I have our candidates here. This one's gonna be Topaz. This one's going to be Lightroom. So let's open up our image in Photoshop. I like to use the, the uh, Photoshop plugins for this versus the, the ones that work with Lightroom. Okay, so now we go up here to Filter, Topaz Labs, and we use the latest product, which is Topaz Photo AI. Now in this video, I'm gonna try to be a little more fair on how I do this. I'm not gonna take the out of the box settings. I am gonna let it go ahead. If you look at scanning the image, just as it did in the first video, but in this video, I want to make a small tweak that I think will make it just a little bit better here. So it recommend removing strong noise. Okay, and if we look over here under the noise setting, we can see the strength is at 34 and we've got some minor de-blur here. The minor de-blur just means it's sharpening a little bit to compensate. I think it probably went a little too far on the sharpening. Um, that's a subjective thing. I'm gonna bring it back just a hair and let it redo it and update it itself. And I think that looks a little bit better. So we're gonna save that. Goes through the processing. Notice how fast Topaz is. Okay, we're back. We're gonna save it. It's gonna take it back into Lightroom as a TIFF. Okay. And next we are going to select Lightroom Candidate right here. Go to the develop module. We're gonna click the denoise button right here. Now, I wanna show you a little bit here cause this is, notice that even at 72, which is what I had to put it at to even get the noise where I wanted it to, there's still noise there. Not only that, but look how blurry the image is. I'm gonna bring it back just a hair bit just to try to compensate. Really not a good situation to be in here. I'm gonna click the enhance button. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Now this is a cropped image, so it's not gonna take as long. Okay, that's done. So let's go out here to the library. And now we wanna take a look at, this is the enhanced, top, or this is the enhanced version of that. This is, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into 100% on these images. All right, on the left, we have Topaz. On the right, we have Lightroom. At first glance, it looks like it's not bad on either one. And in fact, both of them did fairly well, but now I'm gonna zoom in to 200%, which we very rarely do. And I wanna show you a couple of things here. One, the enhanced version over here that's from Lightroom turned out decent, but it's still got more noise than over here in the Topaz version. The other thing you'll notice is that the Topaz version applied some sharpening to deal with it and Lightroom did not. So I'm asking myself, what kind of AI is this, right? If it doesn't know enough to compensate for the bird sharpness of the eyes and so forth, what kind of an AI system is it? I mean, over here, Topaz knew exactly what to do. It created the mask, it recognized the bird as the subject, it knocked out the noise in the background, and over here, I had to play around with several settings before I even got it to this point, 
And the fact of the matter is, it's not sharp enough. And there are, it is noisier. It is noticeably noisier. When I did push it higher to get rid of the background noise, the bird got blurrier and softer and softer and softer. That's not AI, guys. That should just denoise. Honestly, you'd be better off if you only have Lightroom. Don't use this. This is my opinion. Just don't use this. Go ahead, select the background, denoise the background, select the subject, denoise the subject. There's absolutely no reason right now to use this. I, I'm very disappointed in the results. That's really all I've got to say. I mean, clearly the winner is Topaz. I do like the fact that it seemed to be faster this time. I, I upgraded to the latest version of Lightroom. It did seem to be a little faster uh, with the denoise, but they've still got a long, long way to go. A long way to go. Bottom line is, guys, I would, I would seriously consider investing in the Topaz products. They're not that expensive. There's a link in the, in the comments, uh, the description below. Go ahead and give it a try. I mean, I, I think it's a much better product. I think um, it gives you a lot more flexibility and I'm really not even sure where Lightroom is going with this because we, we've, we've used it now in two photographs. One photograph being, you know, just moderate normal noise. The next photograph being heavy noise. And I'm just not that impressed um, with, with the out of the box kind of, with just minor tweaking. It, I just don't see the point. You know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of Lightroom. Uh, in in this scenario, I love Lightroom, but I just I, I just am not thrilled about this denoise plugin. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make it a great day, and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. You know, if you really want to help me out, and I hope you do, please click like and subscribe below. I know we all say this, but the fact is, there's nothing better that helps us than you being involved, than you watching these videos and your support. Thanks a lot.